so welcome to cave tutorials so here i am coming up with a small tutorial on 3d modeling uh, exhibition stall in 3ds max so let's get started so i'll just go into file and let's take a reference over here i'll go into this view image file i'll take up a reference over here i'll take a reference over here so we do have a reference we'll start modeling this so i'll just take a plane first of all let's go into this view over here convert to editable poly so i'll go into this let's take a line i'll take a line over here i'll draw a line drag it in this way till here select the vertices push it a bit inside in this way so i'll set it as 90 degree i'll rotate it drag it a bit down push it in this way shuffle it a bit down over here go into rendering enable in viewport and i'll slightly increase its thickness over here in this way now i'll shuffle it So again select the vertices, push it out, again take a box over here, push it a bit up, push this a bit up, take a box, slightly increase its thickness i'll just place it in this way and i'll create a wall over here so i can just go over here i'll take a wall i'll push it till here similarly i'll just make this width and height a bit lesser so again i'll duplicate it convert to poly select the vertices drag it in this way now i'll again go over here we'll create a small table over here so i'll just slightly just reduce it still we can reduce it a bit lesser in this way i'll keep it over here now take a cylinder
so slightly I'll just push it over here and reduce the height segments convert to poly so before that I can slightly reduce this convert to convert to poly select the polygon slightly I can scale it let's go into the modeling and let's assign a swift loop over here so let's assign a swift loop so let's give a bit of swift loop over here select the polygons and let's extrude it a bit down in this way and let's give bevel so I can slightly just bevel it in this way so we can just extend the bevel stuff let's again scale it slightly so double click on it and I can slightly assign a bit of chamfer to it in this way so let's take a line again I'll save the file once <coughs> I'll save the file and I'll go into this I'll off this enable in viewport drag it in this way in this way and place it in this way I'll just drag this down enable in viewport and reduce its width over here drag it go to the top and push it over here in this way so if you want I can slightly scale it so drag it a bit down select the vertices and let's give a bit of fillet to it so just drag it down now again let's go into this take a line in this way and let's go over here enable in viewport and I'll make it as radial over here I'll drag it till here So select the vertices and let's give a bit of fillet to it. No. That is better. So convert to poly. So let's take a
select this all right slightly shuffle this up slightly we can scale it so convert to poly so select the vertices so just drag this up and let's take again a line tool and let's give a bit of fillet and make it as radial slightly just push it inside so again i'll make a copy of it so i can just save the file so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel if you're not subscribed yet so we continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorials so thanks for watching this tutorial